the big companies, them got abandoned warehouse. They throw the goods in there. They take it out where they want, when they want. They pay a card. They, if they take out 100 cases or uh, whatever, they pay for, for that. But the small man now got to take up all his money and use it up front to, to, to clear his good. The government needs serious to put abandoned warehouse for small business, but got it under good control. That is all for now that I got to come with and I may come back. Thank you, sir. I will now yield the floor to the Permanent Secretary for the Small Business Development Center, Ms. Hen Ms. <laughs> Ms. Taylor, sorry, Ms. Delwyn Taylor, sorry. Good evening, everyone. I'm just here to address um, <laughs> the gentleman's concern in relation to the $5,000 grant that was given to small business person. It was an, in an initiative through partnership, so it was not government funded, um, you know, in our celebration for 40th anniversary, um, one of the struggles small businesses face is access to finance. So when we partnership, partner with persons, that's one of the first things we put on the table. So we receive funding for 40 persons to receive $5,000. And there was a committee that was in place for the selection. And one of the requirements was for persons to submit how they're going to use the funds in the business. And at the ministry, um, we have what you call a monitoring and evaluation program that after those monies would have been expensed, we would go out to the various businesses to make sure that the monies were spent on what they indicated they would need the monies for and follow up with them on a regular basis to make sure that these business strive. In relation to the duty-free concession, um, I don't know if you are aware, we've been going through the community. We were here at Old Road sometime last month, inviting all the small business persons to come on out and hear what the ministry has to offer. And we currently offer import duty concessions for small business persons, bringing in, um, you know, the inputs and whatever it is for daily operations for the business even if you purchase some of those items right here in Ireland, the ministry offer concessions to those businesses so if you are not aware you visit us at our port Zanta location building 16 where you could get additional information on that the permanent secretary she didn't answer the question i'm saying that when you bring in the goods, you gotta pay for them right away. No leeway in there. But when the big business bring a container, they could try it in a banded warehouse. Nothing there. So they could, whatever capital and cash you give them, they got to use it right away. You need something like that to help small business. I in it. I in it. So I know when I bring in a shipment from Dominica, no matter what it costs, I gotta bring all the cash up front to custom. But the big business them could show half of it into a banded warehouse. And if they want 20 boxes, they're going and they take out 20 boxes. That's all I'm saying. Do something like that to help the small business. And there ain't no lobbying about it. There ain't no lobbying about it since before 2015. A lobbying and making noise about that kind, of, that kind of treatment for small business. Because you look at it that a lot of these companies in here, they gain up to 120 days line of credit. We now got to go and buy from them, give them the money to turn around, and we now got to struggle to pay back with stuff. I mean, these are things that are the thing. Mr. PM, I need to talk to you, but in a different forum, not tonight. Not, I mean, not right now. In the present to everybody. Thank you for joining us on KN Whoop. I am Alvarine Cable, affectionately known as Bright Eyes. Have a wonderful day.